It's a new week, grade twos, and I'm super excited to be sharing this lesson with you. This week, we are learning all about butterflies. These are your phonics words for this week. This week, we are continuing with our bodyguard E words. The bodyguard E is helping the baby sound E say its teenager sound I. On the next few slides, there will be a star showing which row or column you should read. Pause the video and read that row or column. Now it's time for you to write each word out five times. Remember, great dudes, that writing the word out is a way of practicing how to spell them. Go. Go is the opposite of stop. I can say, I will go to the shops. It means I'm still going to do it. But if I say, Mom, go to the shop, it doesn't make sense. Oh dear, what is it supposed to be? I wonder. How about my mom goes to the shop? Then it makes sense. And our sight word for today is goes. I don't say I will goes to the shop. It will still happen. I say I will go to the shops. But if it is happening now, mom goes to the shop. Then I need to say goes. I can't say mom go to the shop. Our comprehension this week is all about butterflies. And this topic is so exciting. I can't wait to talk more about this topic. I've put a picture up about a butterfly for you. And I'm going to go through these more difficult words before we read our comprehension passage. So that you understand what you are reading when you read your comprehension. Let's read column one together. Moth, both, thin, them. Let's read column two, bottom up. Bat, flies, flowers, from. Let's read column three. Pretty, body, very, fat. The first word that I want to talk about is moth. A moth and a butterfly are two different creatures. A butterfly has wings. But the butterfly has very bright colours. A moth also has wings, but a moth is normally dull and their colours are normally brown or black or grey. They are not as beautiful as butterflies. Our next word is from. I will come back from the field when the bell rings after break. From. Our next word is pretty. This butterfly has pretty wings. A synonym for pretty is beautiful. Beautiful and pretty mean the same thing. Our next word is both. If, if there are two things that we are talking about, for example, I have two markers and I talk about the markers, I say both markers you can write on the board. Both is when you talk about two things. The next word is flowers. Butterflies drink nectar from flowers. Now don't get confused because there's a homophone. There's the homophone flower. Flower that is spelled like this is flour that you can bake with. It's a powdery substance. This flower is the nectar that the butterflies drink from. Those are the pretty flowers that you can pick from bushes or that you can grow in your garden. Our next word is body. A butterfly's wings are attached to its body. Your arms are attached to your body. Our next word is thin. Now thin has an opposite. A butterfly's body is quite thin. But what would the opposite be? The opposite of thin would be thick. The opposite of thin is not fat. Fat has a different opposite. 
So we have thin and we have thick, two opposites. Our next word is flies. Flies is a homonym. It sounds the same, we spell it the same, but it has two different meanings. You will see that I drew a little creature here, that is a fly. When you talk about more than one fly, can we draw another one? You talk about flies. Flies buzz around in the house, and they come with this food, and they make a buzzing sound. Those are flies. But a butterfly uses its wings to fly. So a butterfly flies using its wings. This word is a homonym. It sounds the same, it spells the same, but it has two different meanings. Our next word is very. This week has been very cold. And in winter, normally, it's very cold. Our next word is them. If I want to talk about a group of children in my class, then I can say, look at them. They are behaving. I'm talking about the group, them. But I spot a small word. Can you see it? The small word is the. I see the small word, the. Our next word is bat. Bat is also a homonym. It sounds the same, it spells the same, but it has two different meanings. I can have a bat to play a sport with, like baseball, or I can use a bat to play cricket, or there's a creature, a nocturnal creature, that flies around at night that has wings. And Mrs. Lutz told the story about that creature. The creature is called a Bat. This word is a homonym. Sounds the same, spelled the same, two different meanings. And our last word is bat. Now remember I said the opposite of thin is not fat. Fat has another opposite. What would the opposite be? The opposite of fat is skinny. There are your birds, grade twos. Now we can read our comprehension and we'll understand what we are reading. Our comprehension this week is all about butterflies. Let's read the comprehension passage together. Let's start by reading the title. Butterflies. Butterflies and moths belong to the same family. This family is called insects. They are pretty insects. A butterfly flies during the day. A moth flies at night. A moth has a fat body. The butterfly has a thin body. A butterfly has bright colors. A moth has dull colors. They both drink nectar from flowers. The nectar is very sweet. They suck it up with their long, thin tongues. Butterflies and moths do not live for a long time. They die after about a week. Birds, bats, lizards and spiders eat them. As you know, this week is all about bears. I want you to go and watch Mrs. Lutz's life skills video to get more interesting facts about bears. See you tomorrow.